What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sports topic. And today we're going to talk some football. We're going to talk some NFL contracts. And YouTubers out there, I need to start working for the Texans. Because yesterday they was throwing them M's left to right. They was paying folks. People was getting paid. They was throwing them M's this way, that way, and this way right here. I need to get a job with Texas. I need some of them M's, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to come here and get these contracts and see what's going down. CJ Fedorowicz, first person with a contract. Three years, $21.5 Ten of it guaranteed. Ten million guaranteed. He gonna average seven point one million per year. Jay Pross the fullback, three year contract, five point seven five million, guaranteed two point seven million. Gonna earn one point nine a year. Andre Howe the safety, three years, fifteen million, seven million guaranteed. Gonna earn five per year. And the big one, the one that y'all been waiting on, the most important one to y'all, D-Hop, five years, 81 million, 49 guaranteed, going to earn 16.2 per year. Damn, I need to give me a job for being Houston Texans, some type of some type of office job or something. Let me do YouTube videos for them. But anyway, these contracts, Andre, I mean, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. This 49 per year is the NFL record. He's the highest paid receiver per year. I mean, a uh, guarantee. He has the most guaranteed money out of any, any receiver in the NFL history. So he's basically the most paid receiver in NFL history off of guaranteed money. He was paid like an upper echelon receiver. He was paid like the best receiver in the league. D-Hop is a Texan. I'm a Texan fan, a diehard Texan fan. So when you put on that deep steel blue, that battle red, and that Liberty White, I'm rocking with you. I don't think D Hop is the best receiver in the league, though. I think he's top five. I don't think he's the best receiver in the league. Some people don't even think he's top five. And I get in arguments all the time with people saying he's not top five. He people say he's like on their tweener. On their tweener. I always felt that, you know, he's not Andre Johnson level. He's like a tier below Andre. I don't think I don't think he's the best. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's the best receiver in the league. I don't think if you throw on all 32 teams any given week, he's going to be number one receiver. You know, I take Julio, I take Antonio Brown, I take um, Odell. Dez when healthy, I would, but Dez didn't look like Dez last year. Dez when healthy, like before last year, Dez, like Dez was that dude to me. Dez, like was our Dez. And uh, Julio was the best receivers to me. Like I said, um, AJ Green. I think Hopkins is better than AJ Green. Some people like AJ Green a whole lot. I'm not a huge AJ Green fan. I don't know. Like, I'm just not a huge. I don't think he's sorry. I just I'm just not a huge AJ Green fan. But he is to me a top five receiver. And I'm glad he got this money. A lot of people last year were worried. Oh man, we need to sign Hopkins. We need to sign Hopkins. Dude, last year, he had two years left in his country. He had the 2016 season, not to mention he still had this 20, the 2017 season coming up. So, I, him not getting the contract, if he got the contract, cool. He didn't get the contract, cool too, because I knew we still had him locked down. It wasn't like he was about to end up free agency. And um, it actually benefited him because, you know, it's never really about who it is. It's always about if you're the last one to get paid. You don't have to be the best receiver to get paid like the best receiver. I mean, Stafford just got the highest paid contract in NFL history. Stafford has never won a playoff game. So we know he's not the best quarterback in the NFL. But he's paid like it because he's the last one to get a deal. That's how that. That's how NFL money works. So that's why it actually benefit Hopkins to get paid this offseason. Because if he was got paid last year, his money wouldn't be as much as it is right now. He wouldn't have had five years, 81, uh, 49 per. I mean, 49 guaranteed. He wouldn't have that last year. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have that last year. So I, I was completely fine with him not getting paid last year. I'm completely fine with him getting paid this year. Then the offseason came. Oh, we need to pay Hopkins. We need to pay Hopkins. We need to pay Hopkins. My main concern this offseason was during free agency one, re-sign A.J. Bouye, which we did not do, which I still think is a mistake. And then two, either drafting Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Watson, which we did do. We drafted Deshaun Watson. We needed a QP, and we did what we had to do. So then the offseason comes, and we give D-Hop this contract, which is good and gravy. We gave D-Hop this contract. He's deserving of the contract. He deserves every 
81 million dollar every 49 million guarantee and not to mention rick smith you know what i gotta do applaud you on this one because since you did trade away oswala and you did not sign nobody this year this is as high as salary cap hit he's gonna hit the salary cap 18 million he, he's gonna hit the salary cap 18 million this year the first year of the contract we could absorb that salary cap hit because we didn't sign nobody in the free agency and we unloaded oswald's contract now going forward he's only going to be hitting between seven and nine million dollars of salary cap like so that means his salary cap hit is not going to be all that bad so you got him locked down he didn't got paid and his salary cap hit is not going to be is not going to hurt your team financially which means if you ever had to make a move you still gonna have the space to do it even if you have to move him for some reason you have the space to do it because his cap hit is not a big hit so that's a good job that's a, i have to give you claps up for that but then i gotta stop the claps up because now to a serious note the most important contract that we need to be worried about is guaranteeing Dwayne Brown. Like I said in the last video, the offensive line looked atrocious um, last week against the Saints. I don't care what quarterback's back there. You know, I'm a big Watson fan. I want Deshaun Watson to start. But I don't care if it's Deshaun Watson. I don't care if it's Vince Young. I don't care if it's Peyton Manning, Tom Brady back there. The offensive line is not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything to protect these, these guys. And we're not going to do anything. We're just going to give the Titans a division. I mean, Andrew Luck, Luck he's still going to be on the pup list. I mean, he's going to be, if he's on the pup list, he's guaranteed to miss six games. Jacksonville got Blake Bortles and Chad Henney, and they don't know which is the worst of the worst. So that's not a good situation down there. So all we have really is the Tennessee Titans and Marcus Mariota and their run defense, I mean, their running game and the receivers that they got. Because they supposedly supposed to have the second or third best offense in the NFL. I don't think the offense is going to be that high. I think the offense will be decent, but it's not above Atlanta or um, the Patriots or Oakland or Pittsburgh. But some people say it's a top two defense. I mean, a top two offense. But that's neither here nor there. This division is not as bad as it normally, quote unquote, is always talked about being, but this division is still winnable. And you need this offensive line shored up. Yeah, you pay CJ Fedorius, good. You pay Andre Hale, good. You pay Hopkins and got him paid, and it's a good ass contract on both sides. He's the highest paid receiver as far as guaranteed money. It doesn't hit your salary cap bad. It only hits it this year when you can exhort the salary cap hit. So everything is good. Jay Prosh, I don't understand that signing because I was under the impression I kind of thought last year I thought maybe he might not make the team, but then they're keeping the full back. And then this year with all the running backs, I come on, man, Jay Rogers might not make this team. Because like, we like one of the only few teams in the NFL that continue to still have a fullback. So, I didn't think he would last. But they gave him this contract, which means on some type of level, they, they, they rocking with him. So, he's not going to get cut in the future. Like in, they, they offered him three years. So, at least for the next year, he's still going to be on there. So, he's not getting cut. So, that one's a little one that's kind of a head scratchy. But the CJ, Andre, and DeAndre, I'm cool with those uh, signings. Good. You got them squared away. Now bring back Dwayne Brown so this offensive line can be shored up some type of way. Bring back that left tackle because they need somebody to protect that blind side for Savage or Watson, whoever it is. Brandon Whedon. I don't know. You might go back and get Case Keenum off the, uh, out the streets. I don't know. But I don't care who's back there. If you can't protect them, it doesn't even matter. Not to mention the running game. With, with with Foreman and Miller. Even though I have my issues with Miller. I think this run game could be legit when you pairing up Foreman, Miller, Hunt, Irvin, Blue. When you get these guys together and have this run back like committee, like New England does, you can be successful. I think you can be successful with Hopkins. I think Hopkins is a top five receiver. You can be successful. I think that even though I, I think Savage's thing is that he takes too long to process and he takes too long to make his reads and he holds on to the ball a little bit too long, but I think you can win some games with these weapons that you got. I think Watson's dynamic. He's going to have his rookie dips, but I think you can do something with this offense. We already know about the defense. The defense like it's ready to go. You can do something with this team if you fix this offensive line. That's just what it is. 
And that's another reason why I said this before that if Savage becomes that dude, that means you wasted a couple years because that that whole Oswald signing. You could use that money to get offensive of linemen. That means you wouldn't have to trade and draft Deshaun Watson. You could have drafted offensive of linemen and showed up his offensive of line. But that's a story for another video. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you haven't clicked that bell to get more videos. I holla. I'm back to doing this every day. So holla at your boy. Hey, prayers for Houston. We rocking with you. Houston, stand up already.